This is a 3D printed heart of a four-year-old girl with complex congenital heart disease who had undergone two previous operations as a, as a baby uh, who was dying. Uh, her veins from her heart were obstructed and she could barely uh, get around in school. She was losing weight. She um, was about half the weight of a, of a child normally her age. And uh, this was printed out because she was thought to be inoperable. And by having this type of model, we were able to con conceive of an operation that hadn't been done before, connecting the small veins from her lungs up to her heart. And that was done with parts from another person's heart who had died and donated their heart. Her operation was extremely successful, and she's recovering very well in the, um, in the hospital now, and it's just about ready to go home. And now her life, instead of being uh, measured in terms of days and weeks, is going to be measured in terms of years and decades. I was like, there's no way. And um, guess have, have you seen it? Yeah. What did you think when you, when you first saw it? I thought it was amazing. I was like, there's no way. Mm -hmm. But. It's very, it's very nice to be able to show a mom who's been through this. Now this would be her third major open heart. You start to lose hope, and you start to wonder, do they, what are they going to do different this time? So having the model of being able to say, this is exactly what we intend to do, was very powerful. She, she needed to know what we were going to do. Dad needed to know what we were going to do. Why was this going to be different? He yeah. said she was sick, um, really struggling there before the surgery. Can you tell me what kind of things were going on with her? Um, yeah, she was pretty sick. Um, she had breathing, back problems, breathing. Um, she, she would struggle a lot to breathe. She was always in and out of the hospitals. Um, she was just always sick all the time. So. She couldn't play like with other kids. She was very weak. And yeah, she, she would get tired very really fast. Um, she she was just she had no energy, very. So. And when she did have energy, she would get really tired really quick. So. And so I presented it to the family and showed them the model so they could you know see on her heart what we intended to do, which I thought was very powerful. And then uh, we brought her to the operating room, and the uh, operation, as you as you heard, took about five hours. And when we were done, we measured the pressure in her right ventricle, which before the operation had been dangerously high. And um, the pressure popped up on the screen in the operating room, and you heard kind of everybody in the room kind of say, yes, because the pressure for the first time in her life was normal. And, um, and that means that her life span is, is no longer going to be measured in terms of weeks and months. It's going to be measured in terms of years and decades. So you guys have to start saving for college now. <laughs> Mom, can you